In this video, we're going to talk about the most richest Arab kings of the world. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The Arab world is home to influential royal families who have amassed substantial wealth through vast oil reserves, business ventures, and strategic investments. In this essay, we will delve into the lives and fortunes of some of the wealthiest Arab kings, shedding light on their opulent empires. While it is important to note that exact wealth rankings are often difficult to determine, we will focus on kings who have historically been considered among the richest. The primary figures we will explore are King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia and Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan of the United Arab Emirates. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud King Salman, the ruler of Saudi Arabia, holds a prominent position among the wealthiest Arab kings. Born in 1935, King Salman ascended to the throne in January 2015, succeeding his half-brother, King Abdullah. His reign has been marked by significant economic reforms and strategic decision-making that have contributed to the growth of his personal wealth. The vast wealth attributed to King Salman stems primarily from the immense oil reserves of Saudi Arabia. As the world's largest exporter of oil, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has a crucial role in the global energy market. King Solomon's control over the country's vast oil resources has granted him substantial economic power and influence. However, the exact net worth of the Saudi royal family and its members remains a subject of debate due to limited transparency. In addition to oil, the Saudi royal family has diversified its investments across various sectors. King Solomon has played a pivotal role in expanding the country's business portfolio through the Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Public Investment Fund, or PIF. The PIF has made substantial investments in sectors such as technology, real estate, finance, and entertainment, with the goal of diversifying the Saudi economy and reducing its dependence on oil revenue. King Solomon's opulent lifestyle is also reflected in his personal assets. He owns luxurious palaces, yachts, private jets, and an extensive collection of rare cars. Moreover, his philanthropic endeavors, such as funding educational institutions, healthcare facilities, and humanitarian initiatives, have further solidified his reputation as a prominent figure in the Arab world. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan. Another notable Arab king renowned for his immense wealth is Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Abu Dhabi. Born in 1948, Sheikh Khalifa has played a pivotal role in transforming the UAE into a regional powerhouse. The wealth attributed to Sheikh Khalifa stems from diverse sources, with the most significant being the country's oil reserves. Similar to Saudi Arabia, the UAE possesses substantial oil wealth, which has been a cornerstone of its economic development. Sheikh Khalifa's control over these oil reserves has contributed to his substantial personal fortune. However, Sheikh Khalifa's wealth extends far beyond the oil sector. The UAE, under his leadership, has actively pursued economic diversification to reduce its reliance on oil. Through strategic investments and the development of free trade zones, the UAE has become a global hub for finance, tourism, real estate, and technology. Sheikh Khalifa's role in steering the country's economic growth has allowed him to amass significant wealth through various ventures. The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, or ADIA, one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds, has been instrumental in the UAE's economic diversification efforts. As the primary vehicle for managing the UAE's excess oil wealth, the ADIA invests in a diverse range of assets globally. This includes investments in infrastructure projects, real estate ventures, and global stock markets. Sheikh Khalifa's control over the ADIA gives him substantial financial leverage and contributes to his personal fortune. Sheikh Khalifa's opulent lifestyle is evident in his ownership of lavish properties, including palaces, private islands, and a vast collection of high-end vehicles. Furthermore, he has been involved in philanthropic endeavors, focusing on initiatives related to education, healthcare, and social development within the UAE and beyond. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia and Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan of the United Arab Emirates represent some of the wealthiest Arab kings. 
their wealth, derived primarily from oil reserves and strategic investments, has afforded them opulent lifestyles and immense influence in the Arab world and beyond. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, and the ruler of Dubai, is renowned for his significant wealth. Born in 1949, Sheikh Mohammed has played a pivotal role in transforming Dubai into a global business and tourism hub. Dubai's wealth has been built on diversifying its economy beyond oil. Sheikh Mohammed has spearheaded visionary projects that have propelled Dubai's growth and attracted international investments. His strategic initiatives include the development of world-class infrastructure, such as the iconic Burj Khalifa, Palm Jumeirah, and the Dubai Metro. As the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed has a stake in various economic sectors. His ownership of Dubai Holding, a conglomerate with diversified investments, has contributed significantly to his personal wealth, finance, entertainment, and media. Notable assets under Sheikh Mohammed's control include Jumeria Group, a luxury hotel chain, and Dubai International Financial Center, or DIFC, a leading financial hub in the Middle East. Furthermore, Sheikh Mohammed's passion for horse racing has resulted in extensive investments in the equestrian industry. Go Dolphin, his globally renowned thoroughbred racing and breeding operation, has achieved remarkable success in prestigious racing events worldwide. His passion for horses has also led to the development of Dubai's world-class equestrian facilities, such as the Maidan Racecourse. Sheikh Mohammed's personal assets reflect his opulent lifestyle. He owns multiple palaces, luxury yachts, a private jet, and an extensive collection of luxury cars. Additionally, he has demonstrated a commitment to philanthropy through various initiatives focused on education, healthcare, and poverty alleviation in the UAE and beyond. Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the ruler of Qatar, is another prominent figure among the wealthiest Arab kings. Born in 1980, Emir Tamim ascended to power in 2013 and has since made significant contributions to Qatar's economic growth. Qatar's vast natural gas reserves have been a key driver of its wealth, enabling the country to become the world's leading exporter of liquefied natural gas, or LNG. Emir Tamim's control over these resources has played a pivotal role in Qatar's economic prosperity and his personal wealth. Qatar Investment Authority, or QIA, the country's sovereign wealth fund, manages Qatar's substantial financial assets and investments worldwide. Emir Tamim exercises significant influence over the QIA's investment decisions, which include diverse sectors such as finance, real estate, technology, and sports. Notably, the QIA has made substantial investments in prominent international companies and luxury real estate properties. Under Emir Tamim's leadership, Qatar has emerged as a major player in global sports. The country successfully hosted the 2022 FIFA World Cup, with significant investments made in infrastructure development, stadiums, and related industries. Emir Tamim's passion for sports extends to his ownership of Paris Saint-Germain, or PSG, a prominent football club in France. His involvement in the sports industry has elevated Qatar's international standing and brought global attention to the country. Emir Tamim's personal assets also reflect his affluent lifestyle. He owns luxurious palaces, private jets, and a collection of high-end vehicles. Additionally, he has been involved in philanthropic endeavors both domestically and internationally, with a focus on education, healthcare, and humanitarian aid. Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed Al Saeed Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed Al Saeed, the late ruler of Oman, was revered for his reign that transformed the country into a modern and prosperous nation. Born in 1940, Sultan Qaboos ruled Oman for nearly five decades until his passing in 2020. Oman's wealth is primarily derived from its oil reserves, which have been carefully managed under Sultan Qaboos's leadership. He played a crucial role in diversifying Oman's economy and investing oil reserves in sectors such as tourism, infrastructure, and logistics. His vision for Oman included the development of modern cities, industrial zones, and tourist attractions. As the ruler of Oman, Sultan Qaboos controlled the country's significant financial resources, enabling him to initiate ambitious development projects. 
One of his notable accomplishments was the establishment of the Oman Investment Fund, or OIF, a sovereign wealth fund that aimed to generate long-term returns and support economic diversification. The OIF has invested in sectors such as finance, real estate, energy, and telecommunications. Sultan Qaboos's dedication to preserving Oman's rich cultural heritage is evident in his investments in the tourism sector. His focus on developing luxury resorts, heritage sites, and world-class infrastructure helped position Oman as a desirable tourist destination. Furthermore, Sultan Qaboos emphasized the importance of education and healthcare, investing in institutions and facilities to improve the quality of life for Oman citizens. Sultan Qaboos's personal assets reflected his regal lifestyle. He owned opulent palaces, private yachts, and a collection of rare cars. Additionally, his philanthropic efforts extended to humanitarian aid with contributions to global relief initiatives during natural disasters and crises. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.